Hi, everyone. This is Robin Duncan with EFT Prayer Tapping. Today, our topic is crisis and emergencies. Take a moment to think of what is happening in your life that might be considered a crisis or emergency. If you don't have something personally, maybe you can think of something within your home, your city, or even the world. We can apply EFT prayer tapping, combining spiritual principles of A Course in Miracles with EFT tapping for a power-packed combination for stress relief. Let's go ahead and tune in to whatever you are thinking about that feels like it is a crisis or emergency. Allow the details to come to your mind. Tune in to the charge or the intensity of how you feel about the challenge. Ten would be very severe, very anxious, worried, scared, and a one would be very neutral. Take a moment to assign a rating to how you feel about this situation right now. Let's go ahead and start with the setup phrase. You can start by tapping over your heart in a little circle about the size of a quarter, and you can begin with these words and repeat after me, even though I'm in the middle of a crisis, I choose a peaceful and positive outcome in all respects, even though I'm feeling worried I turn all of my concerns over to God. Even though I don't know what will happen, I am willing to make room for the highest possible outcome. Now let's go to the top of the head and tap around in a small circle and say these words. I release my fear and allow myself to be calmly guided by my higher self. Let's go to the eyebrow point, one finger on each eyebrow, right over the bridge of the nose, and say, there is a part of my mind that knows what to do and what needs to happen. Let's go to the side of the eye, right there at the eye socket. And let's say, I call upon God's certainty to ensure that I and my loved ones are safe and secure. Let's now go under the eye on the cheek point. And let's say I dedicate this entire situation to the truth. Where peace is assured. Let's now go under the nose and say I am willing to make room for the highest and most positive outcome. Now let's go on the chin, tapping there. I'm willing to trust. I will be divinely guided as I move through this. Let's go now to the collarbone point right there. Follow down the middle of your neck. There's a point on each end. We're going to tap right on the collarbone point and say, I am willing to see this whole situation differently.
and allow peace to replace my fear. Let's pause and take a deep, relaxing breath. Exhale it out. Very good. Let's go back over the heart and repeat after me. I am willing to release all the worry, all the fear, and all concerns about the future. Let's go now to the center of the chest, tapping right here on the center. I am safe and secure. In God's loving care, I allow my fear to be replaced with peace. Let's go now to the side of the hand. I allow my mind to be calm and peaceful. Regardless of my circumstances. Now let's take both hands and go inside the knees, tapping right on the inside of each kneecap and say, I will be shown every step to take. To ensure a peaceful outcome. Let's go back up over the heart. I am willing to trust that everything will calmly come together. for the highest good. Let's go to the center of the chest. I make a reservation for a peaceful outcome for me and for everyone involved. Take a nice, deep, relaxing breath. Breathe in the peace. Let it go down and through your body. You can repeat this tapping exercise as many times as needed. And the goal is to bring that number down. If you started high at a nine or a 10, keep tapping, adding in your own words along the way, words of encouragement until you get down to a zero. You will. With God's help, you can do anything. This is Robin Duncan with EFT Prayer Tapping, combining spiritual principles with EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Together, we choose the highest, happiest, and most remarkable outcome to your situation. And remember to expect miracles.